Thank you, Chair. Uh, th thank you, Minister, Professor. Uh, I obviously I'm, I'm interested in the introduction of the supervised injecting centre in North Richmond, and and one of the reasons for this was the um, large number of ambulance callouts to that to that small small region, and we know when. The, a similar centre was established in Sydney, we saw a significant, in fact, dramatic reduction in ambulance call-outs in the, the proximity to that centre. So I was particularly interested in, currently, do we have a number on how many um, ambulance call-outs are made in the North Richmond area, but maybe even, even at a statewide level for drug-related incidences? I sorry don't have that information no. available. I'm not sure. I'm happy to take. It would be like interesting if it's available. I'm if sure I there is something getting... insightful that we would be able to yeah. provide. For so you. I, I haven't got the statewide figure with me. I do know that um, within the city of Yarra, based on turning point data, which is yep. the shared data we're working, there are 427 heroin-specific ambulance cases in uh, um, uh, in. Uh, uh, in 2014-15, which is the most late, latest yeah. reported data. Yeah, and that has come up from from uh, two hundred and thirty sorry um, uh, three hundred thirty nine in two thousand and twelve. So it had been increased. So it's, yeah, it's been on the increase. Um, I, we would, I, th I think, we're all optimistic that those numbers will go down with the establishment of of the centre in North Richmond. When some, I mean, because that's those. Are, I'm assuming those are significant numbers for for one for one air for one region, four hundred. Well, well, they are, um, yes, uh, and um, the, the reality is that... Um, What's the, I mean, is there an average? I'd have to take that on notice. Yeah, so I, I haven't got the information. Yeah, to all. compare, it would be interesting to compare. If those... Um, so, assuming uh, and uh, going forward that we will see a significant drop in those numbers, where would those ambulances go? I mean, where do they come from and where would they be redistributed to if that... If that Sharp, if there was a, a, a decline, even a sharp decline? Well, in essence, um, uh, it, it reduces the caseload within the city of Yarra for those yep. particular type of cases. So our ambulance fleet are mobile and moving around. Um, but in essence, by reducing the uh, volume of caseload in those areas, what you end up doing is improving your ambulance response to other patients in the community. Yes. Um, um, which is obviously why we were supportive of, uh, of, um, uh, yes. of the strong. Yes. Thank you, and I'd be interested in those figures. Um, just, it's probably even general cu curiosity, but I, I did note that we're getting 12 more ambulances um, in this budget. How much does an ambulance cost? Oh, I'm going to have to ask. Um, <laughs> I know they're expensive. I know they're the not as expensive ones, as our, They're not as expensive as our air, air ambulances. No. So no. I have to confirm with you, I think it's around $200,000 fully okay. fitted out. And is that, um, that's with the full fit out in it? Yeah. Right. And so we're getting 12 new ones. How many do we have? Uh, all up, the fleet is around 600, around 600. the state. Yeah. But Great. The, the fleet is pattern also, for example, in the Melbourne CBD, we, there, we have paramedics on motorcycles, yes. for example, just because to get through congestion <coughs> in order to get to patients. So there's 600 plus. We have inclusive. air and inclusive, inclusive, so yeah, um, okay. they're not all Including. ambulance, um, yeah. what you would think of as a yep. van-style car. Yep. So with the increase of, of 12, so um, where would, and that's, so that's a 2% increase. We made a really significant increase two budgets ago, ago. Um, where we invested and bought more vehicles, more CPAV vehicles, which are complex yep. patient Order. I'd like to thank the witnesses for their attendance. The Minister for Ambulance Services, the Honourable Jewel Hennessy MP, Ms. Peake, Mr. Simons, Mr. Clinton, Associate Professor Walker.